Hi, this is Dr. Samir Shamshuddin from osrxukusergroup.org. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate PowerPoint and Keynote presentations with Osirx. This is a demonstration of cases, how it's going to work. As you can see, if I click on case one, that will automatically launch Osirx and bring up the case. And then during your presentation, you can scroll through the win scroll through the stack of images. You can window, zoom, pan, and do whatever you want using Osirix. To go back to the presentation, you need to click Command and Tab together and select Keynote. And then go back to case number two. And that again will launch the new case within Osirix. In this way, you can actually toggle between different cases from PowerPoint into Keynote. So this is the third case, which is a nice case of bucket handle tear. To do this, you need a software which is been developed by Turion on request and it's available from this particular link. Any trouble in software installation, please contact the software developer Joan. He's very helpful and he will help you get through this process. You need to make sure that the, the following applications are open before you start your presentation in your conference. Chrome or Safari, one of the web views, web servers, server app, Osirix, PowerPoint or Keynote, whichever you use. While preparing for your talk, you need to create hyperlink. If you are working with patient ID, you need to use the first hyperlink. Or if you are using the patient name in the Osirix database window, you can use the second link. But make sure you change the end, which is Samsha1001 with your patient ID or Samir, which is my name, you can change that to the patient name in your Osirix database window. By clicking on the link within the presentation, it will launch Osirix and demonstrate the case. To toggle between Osirix and Keynote or PowerPoint, you have to use Command and Tab together. Once you have presented the case, Use Ctrl C to exit the server. Installation of this software requires Ruby and Ruby on Rails app. If you find trouble installing the software, contact the developers and they're very helpful. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to create links in PowerPoint. Type and highlight the word and then right click and select hyperlink. So if I have selected case and right click, then you will see an option called hyperlink at the bottom of the secondary options. And then type the link as in this demonstration and change the patient ID. The word is now converted to a link and during presentation clicking the link will launch Osirix. Within Keynote it's a slightly more complex for PowerPoint users, but those who are using Keynote will know the importance of inspector. So type and highlight the word as you do in PowerPoint and then click the inspector. Select the curved arrow and choose link to web page and paste the URL. Change the patient ID to the case in your database and the word is now converted to a link. So use command and tab to navigate in and out of Osirix. This will navigate between Osirix and presentation and enjoy and stun the audience. Thank you.